Okay, so nice deep breath in here for me. All the way out. Nice and loose, yep. Good, all the way out. Yep. Good, one more. Good. Hey everybody, this is Dr. Brady and I'm here with <laughs> Bella. And uh, today we are talking about Bella's low back and hips, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so Bella, kind of take us through on uh, what's going on. Yeah, so my activity's been increased. I've been hitting the slopes like every weekend, um, and then I've been lifting more. So I'm having some low back pain with extension and flexion. Okay. Um, and then my hips, they've just been super tight. Like, I've been feeling it in my psoas when I run, like, and then I'm feeling it when I lift. Like, just the hip hinging movements okay. have been pretty aggravating for me. So is it something, like, during the activity of snowboarding, it, it bothers you, or is mm -hmm. it, like, the next day type it's thing? during. During. It's been during. Okay, yeah. gotcha. So let's start with the low back here. Right now I'm gonna go ahead and, and just do a quick range of motion screening oh. um, just to see how, <laughs> where we're limited here. So go ahead, Bella, and bend over and touch those toes there for me. I can't touch them. Now, is that all hamstrings or are you feeling it? Uh, I feel it here. Back? You do, okay. I feel it here. Does it go into the glutes at all or does it stay pretty high? A little bit. A little bit? Like okay. a little bit. And if I were to like, push to touch my toes, mm -hmm. then it really pulls into the glutes. Okay. Um, a side in particular that's worse, or is it pretty much bilateral, um, the, the same pretty as worse intensity? Okay. It's pretty even. Good. Yeah. All right, then lastly, just go ahead and go side to side for me. Let me know if you experience any pain or discomfort. A little bit. A little More bit. on the left yeah. side, actually. Okay. So, so when you're going to the left there, are you feeling it more on the right or the left? I feel it here. Okay. When you're I going to the left, pull. does it feel like a compression or how would you describe it? A compression. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. go ahead and uh, give me a big old hug there, Bella. Yep, just like that. You're going to bend backwards over my hand here. I want you to dip this shoulder. I'm going to load that joint. Is that painful for you? Okay. A bit. And same thing through here. Any pain or discomfort? Bad. Okay, good. And when I add that compression, um, does it radiate into the glutes at all or does it stay pretty focal no. to that area? It's pretty much like right here. Okay. All right, fellas. So let's go ahead and go face down here for me, please. All right, how many scorpions did you do? You have any scorpions where the snowboard oh. comes uh, behind the head? I had a couple. I had a couple. I did. You hit any rails or anything? I did, actually. <laughs> did you? Well, first, before I do any adjusting, I'm just kind of assessing the hips here. Um, when I'm in this position right through here, Bella, is that painful at all, or is it feel just like a stretch? It pulls to the front. Pulls to the front? Uh, like, I can feel it in, like, rolling kind of. Okay. And same thing with this side. Let me know if you have any pain or discomfort. No. No. Yeah. Pretty much everything is left-sided here. Okay. Right, I'm just going to do one more test here. I'm just going to check the SI joint. So I'm going to block your pelvis and SI here, and I'm going to lift this leg up. Does that cause any pain or discomfort? No. It does? Yeah. If 10 is the most intense, what are we talking here? Oh, like a six. Six. Okay. So nice deep breath in here for me, all the way out, nice and loose, yep, good. All right, so I'm going to do a few drops on that left SI joint here. Good. And if you could flip on over here for me, please, without I falling. Almost fell off. Nice. We actually can put it back here. That's a nice deep breath in. All the way out. Yep. Good, one more. Good. And same thing on the other side for me. You lost your hands, honey. Oh no. Good block. Good. Nice deep breath in. All the way out. Good. And then on your back here for me, please. So it's been a pretty good year so far, right? For snowboarding, you had like oh, a couple yeah. weeks. Oh, well, it got a little warm and that wasn't fun. Okay. 
The slopes have been good. That's like, good. The snow on the actual mountain's been good. Are you going to Colorado this year at all? Yeah. End when? Of Feb. Feb. End of Feb. Any pain or discomfort in the front of the hip while I do this here? Yeah. Okay. I was thinking it was the right side, but I guess it really is the left. Yeah, everything um, so far has been pointing left-sided. Any pain or discomfort there? A little bit. It's that same, like... Same spot. spot. So I'm just going to bring it up a little bit. Here. Still done okay. Here. That, that was, that's a good stretch. That's a good stretch. That's a good stretch. You know some hip flexor stretches? Okay. I did some this morning. Good. So that's the biggest thing. And then just looking at your form and making sure. Do you ride, like, both sides or, like, conventional? Okay. Yeah. I make sure I switch it up. Good. And then how about when you're on the lift? Like one foot in is always your... It's always my left, yeah. Your left foot's always so in. that's probably why okay. it pulls. That's another thing I would look at and just kind of switch it up if you switch can. It. I know you're used to that I can side, but... It. Oh, man. It's Bella, you're usually like really flexible, it's but... I've been I'm not... This. this is pretty good, but for well, you, it's a little... Now. Yeah. You still doing that the 75 hard? Burrito. Oh yeah. Yeah, nice. I'm turning into a swole a little much again. <laughs> What's been the, the hardest thing so far no, for you? Fitting both of the workouts in uh -huh. and having enough time to eat three meals a day. Yeah. Like hitting my calorie thing. <laughs> you still on that high protein diet? Yeah. Doing shakes to still? Mm-hmm. Or whole, okay. I'm trying Good. to do like 3,000 calories a day. 3,000, mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of food. It is. And then for right here, uh, right now I'm adjusting uh, Bella's hip. So the reason why I don't do it straight on, it's more of an open pack position. So it's easier for that hip joint, the, the acetabulum and the femur um, for the adjustment there. Good. Easier to move. Probably got that. <laughs> and same thing with this left side, nice and loose there. Good. Wiggle your nose. Good. <laughs> How's the reading been so far? Oh, the reading's nothing. Ten pages a day. Reading is nothing. Now, do you count your school reading at all? No. Does that count? No. Okay. No, I've been good. Drop it a little bit lower. Good. Same thing through here. Good. One more. Good. No. Is that gonna fall off? No. Clipped on? No. Cut it back. All right, good. And then do those same motions there for me. So we're bending over. Oh, much better. Good, side to side for me. Still a little bit, but not as bad. Okay. And then there's nothing over here. Still pinching when you go to the left? Mm-hmm, okay. just a smidge. Gotcha. Just All right, well, this is actually perfect. So I can show you uh, the muscle work. Um, if it's still kind of sticky there, especially with her, it's not real centralized here. She's kind of pointing out to the side. That tells me that there's probably a muscular component too. Oh, yeah. So go ahead and have a seat right here facing uh, that blue wall. And we've done these before here, Bella, but you're gonna go like this is your neutral starting position, bending to the right, and then bringing that arm up over top. These are really fun. They are fun. You did this to Kaylee yesterday. That's right. right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Guys, keep injuring yourselves. That's why we work here. <laughs> Feel my back sweat? <laughs> it's hot in here. <laughs> All right, so go ahead and bend to the right there for me. And then as far as you can, good. Ah. All right, so working that QL so from like the 12th rib here down to the rib cage, all the way down to that PSIS or the, or the pelvis there. So go ahead and restart there, Bella. Sorry, I got distracted from the camera. So here I'm adding that compression. As Bella's going, it's lengthening that muscle. I'm oh. adding the compression, she's doing great. And then back. Can you give me two more? Yeah. And then we'll recheck here. Yeah. Yep. I'll give you as many as you need. Good. Oh. And then one more here for me, Bella. That's a good spot. It is. Get on in there. Oh. Oh. Good. Okay. Now go ahead oh. and uh, stand on up. And then oh. for the camera, show those side to side bends. <laughs> oh, man. I had to think about that for a sec. Oh, that's better. 
Better there. Good. Thank you. Yeah. Same thing on the other side there. Good. And then the next step there um, would just be showing her ways that we can do hip mobility before and after exercise, especially with the working out and snowboarding, uh, not only for this condition, but as a prevention tool um, in the future. So if you or one of your friends or family members have any of these conditions, sound familiar, come on in and visit the office here in Towson, Maryland, and uh, hit that subscribe button. Yeah. All right, toodles. See ya.